All right, guys, it's me again. I'm back with some more cheater stories and we're picking up where we left off last time. And then plus I have some more from a different source. Also, I'm back in my van and you can enjoy the wonderful sounds of Sacramento. Just so you guys know, if you guys are into YouTube, Cheater Stories is on YouTube. This podcast is on YouTube. So if you're curious to see what the face is behind the voice, check me out on YouTube, search Cheater Stories, Ebony White, or you can click the link in the description box. All right, so let's get into these stories. I just got on a flight in London headed to Vegas. I'm sitting next to my girlfriend and she wants to show me something she has planned for the trip. So she gets out her phone. It opens to her messages and shows a chat with a guy, I know him, saying how much she is gonna miss him and how she doesn't wanna go away with me anyway. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh, the tea is spilt. The doors closed on the plane and that was a really fun 10 hours. People, man. Next one. It was the night of her company Christmas party. I had to stay home and babysit our five-year-old son. I figured my wife would go and then come home early. Turns out she was planning to stay the night at a hotel so she could drink and not worry about driving. I woke up at about 3 a.m. just knowing something was wrong and checked my find my phone to see where she was. She was with her boss at his apartment. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> I'm not condoning this, you guys. You know me, I'm not condoning this, but I will say where she fucked up was she should have just got a room at the hotel. Two, she forgot find my phone, okay? Which is really handy dandy, cause I use that myself. And you know what? That was his good intuition checking on his wife because you just never know when shit's gonna pop off. All right, next one. I found out via Facebook a few months after I had broken up with him. I was still friends with his siblings and parents and they were tagged in some photos of him. They were holding his clearly two-term newborn and it was less than nine months after I broke up with him. So <laughs> that means he was fucking around with some bitch while he was with her. Cause if she broke up with him a few months ago, his side chick, was about three to six months pregnant when the girlfriend broke up with him. And then what can she say? Like she could say something because um, he cheated on her. I would definitely confront him about that, but uh, not, not a whole lot she can do besides that. I mean, even if they were together, there's not much she can do. All right, next one. I received a letter in the mail from a college I never went to, weird. Inside, I found the entire texting history between my now ex-husband and his lover at the time. I have determined that the sender was most likely the lover herself or her scorned husband, a local police officer. The added bonus is at the time, I was seven months pregnant. Okay, that is not shocking to me the, the fact that she was the fact that she was seven months pregnant when he was cheating on her does not shock me anymore like it shocks me in the way like oh that's revolting but it doesn't surprise me because it is very common for men to cheat on their pregnant lovers it's just it's just something in the code it's just something in the DNA you knock her up and find another bitch knock her up and find a side piece that's just what they do i don't know why but i feel like cheating is even more prevalent when his woman is is pregnant like the best way i can describe it is this way let's take a guy who's never cheated before if his woman is pregnant he will cheat that is the opportune time that he will cheat if he's never cheated before in his life and if there was ever like a a good opportunity for him to cheat it will be when she's pregnant because when a woman is pregnant she's vulnerable she's like she's at her weakest she's not at her fighting weight 
she's weak she's vulnerable when you're pregnant like your world gets turned upside down and and him right along with it like the the men just they just lose they they fucking mind honestly men lose their mind when their woman becomes pregnant they'll get like more hostile more aggressive um abusive or they'll cheat they'll like uh become dismissive it's just like she come pregnant and they just take ad advantage of it and it's really disgusting but it's very common and there's a teacher at my school that when I found out she was pregnant, I just like kind of felt sorry for her because I know um, with my experience with relationships and everything that I've read and all the interviews that I've done, I've interviewed a lot of people and you know, I ask a lot of questions and you know, I read these stories. So I'd be online finding these stories. And the truth is that most relationships are failures just think you got prostitutes you got trannies you got um casinos you got strip clubs and and a lot of married men frequent these places what the fuck do you think is happening where do you think all those girls on backpage and craigslist and 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 the hoes walking down the the strips and and the strippers where do you think they're making their money from most of their clientele are married men. Married men, not single men. Most of them are married men um, or, or taken in serious relationships. I'm telling you, trust me, okay? If you are thinking about getting into a serious relationship with a man, because women function differently. Women move differently. We think differently. Women cheat differently okay and and so but i'm i'm really familiar with with man cheating men like variety men most men will fuck anything and that's the the the, the truth you think your man don't like fat bitches trust me he'll fuck one you think your man don't like chicken head uh uh bummy bitches trust me he will fuck one you think just because he's with you that he don't wouldn't fuck some other bitch that's like nowhere on your level or just totally different from you honey you just don't know um <laughs> oh gosh i know a lot of women who think they know their man's type and see that's the thing when it comes to sex a man's type goes out the fucking window he don't give a fuck what you look like how old you are what style hair she has like you might think oh my man likes uh short hair so that's why i wear short hair or or you know my man likes uh this or that yeah he likes that but he'll fuck anything they don't care how old you are. They don't care how young you are. They don't They don't care how many kids you have. They don't care how many stretch marks she has. They don't care if it's a man. They don't care if it's a woman. They will fuck anything. And if they're not fucking it, they'll jack off to it. If they're not jacking off to it, they'll be... Uh, uh, trying their best to get it. Uh, man... I'm telling you, and they'll do it anywhere. They'll do it in bathrooms. They'll do it in garages. They'll do it, and they don't care if it's sanitary. They don't care uh, half the time. Like they don't care if they're wearing a condom. He'll hook up with anything. He'll carry on a little, a uh, uh, little relationship with anything, even emotional cheating. They don't care what they look like, as long as they're getting what they want, whatever that is. They will cheat. They don't care. So keep your eyes wide open and be very vigilant. <sighs> All right, so next one. She was a great detective and he was a moron. The credit card he ordered for his girlfriend came to my house. Long story short, he had taken me off of the account. Mind you, I was his wife. A month later, a brand new American Express shows up in the mail addressed to another woman. 
I was thinking that the mailman put something in my box for someone else, but nope, it was my address and her name. I Googled her and saw that he and she were connected on Google+. Of course, he denied and said, if I wanted to add someone to my account, why would I have the card come to our house? I said, because you're a dumbass who probably didn't realize that the card was going to go to the primary account holder's address. Of course, he still denied knowing her. So being the amazing detective that I am, I got into his American Express account and saw that he not only added her to his account, but he was spending a tremendous amount of money wooing her. He even took her home to meet his family last Thanksgiving. Oh, damn. I saw the airline tickets he purchased when I was in his account. Oh, and he took her to Vegas too. Nice, right? So I filed a missing spouse divorce. He had no idea I filed and he had no idea we were divorced until I scanned the divorce decree and sent it to his work email address. And would you guys believe he had the nerve to say, I can't believe you divorced me. Girl. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't really need to say anything about that one. Next story. I was 14 years old. My best friend Emma and I were dating two boys who were best friends. One day, Emma and I got out of rehearsal and we go to meet up with our boyfriends who are nowhere to be found. So we look harder and are wandering around campus when we hear low voices behind a ledge. <laughs> Lo and behold, our precious boyfriends were there making out with each other. Okay, next story. I'll share my story. I have been seeing this girl for about four months and she was starting to bore me. I decided to just flirt with a few guys and just have fun, but never act on it. I talked to one guy for a day and a half and he asked me out. I said no, but maybe someday. I lied and said I wasn't ready for a relationship. Anyway, he FaceTimed me while I'm with my girlfriend and he looked at her once and hung up. She called him right after and started yelling at him. We were cheating on each other with the same guy. Oh. Oh my God, I was not expecting that one, shit. They're both fucking around on each other with the same guy. And he didn't know, the fuck boy didn't know. So now I'm wondering like, because apparently they weren't mutual friends, so how did they meet? That's crazy. I've read a lot of cheating stories and I've never come across one that unique you know okay next one a friend recently got married and told me about how her wedding brought her family together but it had been a rocky road her mother was diagnosed with cancer at the age of 34 oh that sucks oh my gosh she lived another 10 years and died at the age of 44 damn during this time my friend is on the family computer and notices her father's instant message window from his last session is still open He's talking to my mom's best friend. They're saying things to each other like, how much longer till she's gone and we can finally be together. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! You guys, oh. If I think about that anymore, I'll cry. I will cry if I think about that anymore. That is the worst, you guys. That is the fucking, that's the worst. That's the lowest of the low. The mother of your children, you're wishing she would just die so you can continue cheating on her. And that's her best friend? How can someone fall in love with someone who would betray their best friend like that how can you fall in love with 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 someone that cold like that reptilian you know she's a fucking reptile both of them they're both fucking reptiles cold-blooded reptiles oh and there's more and i can't wait till you can finally be mine so these people are plotting and just like lying in wait like a couple of fucking demons spawned from hell just waiting for her to 
kick rocks, to kick the bucket, you know? And, and most likely he was probably like a caregiver to her. This went on for years, y'all. Could you imagine being the child to find those messages? All right, okay, so there's more. There's more to this story, okay. So she and her brother confront her father who is remorseful, but does not stop seeing her mom's best friend. Her mother died, her mother died never knowing what was going on between them. She and her brother cut off contact with her father for the last seven years since it happened. He's still dating her mom's best friend and they always say they still feel incredibly guilty about what they've done. It's the reason they won't get married. Well, what fucking difference does that make? It's taken my friend years to forgive them and let them back into our life. Very sad story about a family ruined by infidelity. I tell you what, I wouldn't let the motherfuckers back in my life. I would not. I'm sorry. No, I wouldn't. And no, I'm not sorry. Sorry, but I'm not sorry. No, those motherfuckers could, can burn in hell. I would set them on fire myself. I mean, that's how I feel now. I mean, you know, people change, but honestly, I don't think I could let these people in my life. All right, so we finished that article. Now I'm moving on to my other source. <laughs> okay, these stories are coming from Baby Center. If you're not familiar with babycenter.com, they use a lot of abbreviations for like dear husband or little one or dear fiance um, and then also a lot of these stories are typed out on their cell phone and there's a lot of like autocorrect like the writing is real fucked up you know how it is typing on your phone and so I as I'm reading I'm have to like correct and like edit and proofread all at the same time while I'm reading this shit okay I had a boyfriend for two years one random day, I got a package sent to work on Valentine's Day, so I thought I was getting a surprise. Some girl that I did not know sent me a package with cards, letters, phone bills, and pictures to prove he was cheating on me. OMG. Oh my gosh. I had no idea he was cheating, and I'm good at figuring this stuff out too. So of course, I called him like, what the fuck? And he gives me the lame common excuse that she is his ex, and she's obsessed with him. I've heard that before. I've heard that many times. She won't leave him alone, blah, blah, blah. You can imagine how shocked I was. It was confusing. He said all that stuff she sent was from when they were together and she was jealous and wanted him back. So I'm asking, how does this girl know where I work? He says she hacked into his email and saw my signature at the bottom of one of my work emails. This part is true. I figured out that the one picture she sent me was with him wearing a pair of glasses he purchased a year into our relationship. He was so busted and so kicked to the curb. Fast forward, I found out that he bought her the same ring he bought me for Christmas. He also told me he worked late on Mondays and spent them with her. So he was spending every Monday night with her. He was with her for the last six months of our relationship. He spent time with her family and everything. He had an entire other life. One year after that, my little sister was looking up registered sex offenders in our area and he was on it. He was convicted one year before we met and never told me. And that girl, yeah, her sorry pathetic ass continued to date him. I feel like that girl sent that shit to her job to get rid of her. She was probably like, okay, it's time to move on. This idiot, he's never gonna leave his girlfriend. So let me speed things up. Let me send her a care package, okay? So she sent her a care package, letting her know everything. I feel like she only sent that package to get her out the way. She knew there was a good chance that she would break it off with him and then she could have him all for herself. Which is like, why would you want a shitty motherfucker like that in your life? Why would you want someone like that with like low morals, low scruples, he's a dumbass for one, and low morals like that. Why would you want to plan your life, live your existence with someone like that? I don't know. All right, we'll do like two more stories and then I gotta go. 
Here's the next one. I live with a guy who used MySpace screen name Mandingo. I asked if I could get his sister-in-law's number from his phone. A girl texts saying she was off. I asked who she was and she said wrong number. I called her and asked her how she knew Paul. She said his name was Marky Mark. She was 16 and didn't know who that was. She truly believed that was his name. Oh my gosh. He was 31. I told her the pic on his MySpace was when he was in high school and that he's now fat with six kids. I forced him to log onto his MySpace over a million messages to young girls with sick, disgusting pictures. She says he was Asian and looked very young, so the girls believed him. All right, so here's another one. I hate cheaters. I was cheated on tons by my ex. A lot of it, I didn't even find out till after it was over. He and a mutual friend went to get something from the car. They were taking a long time, so I go and hunt those bastards down. He had her bent over the car, just going to town. I left after that. It was heartbreaking. That guy was insane too. When I moved out, he kept a butcher knife in his back pocket, whispering death threats to me. My family was there and we ended up calling the cops. I heard he's heavy into drugs now and I'm glad we're not together anymore. All right, next story. My ex-boyfriend was cheating on me with his best friend, John. I always wondered why he didn't like sex, hung out with John so much, and I was never invited. What a wacko. All right, so we're gonna do one or two more because these are, these are really good. All right, my sister and her husband, oh my God, I swear I don't know what she thinks sometimes. Well, she has a four-year-old and a three-year-old. They're both from her husband, but besides my sister, he has a bunch of other children scattered. Well, he would sometimes go to Tennessee to pick up his kids while my sister had barely had her four-year-old as a baby. He got his ex pregnant when he was in Tennessee and then came back and got my sister pregnant with her now three-year-old. When we find out her excuse for him is they broke up for a while. Lies, my sister is in denial and he still cheats on her and still he brags about it to my husband and my husband tells me, but I don't tell my sister because at the end of the day, I'll just be the liar. Next story, this will be the last one. In college, my boyfriend of two years was cheating with my BFF of 10 years once I went to college out of state. I went with him to visit her at her college and as she was introducing us to a friend, the friend said, oh yeah, I met you the last time you were here. So the friend was like, oh yeah, I met you last time to him. She recognized, oh boy, he's caught up at that point. They tried to play it off like she had made a mistake. And then I found passes to her co-F in his pocket sometime later. I don't know if that's a misspelling or what, co-F, C-O-E-F-E. -E. I confronted him and he made me feel crazy saying they were from when we were there. I knew we didn't get passes, but was naive. A few months later, I found out for sure because he was apparently feeling guilty and confessed to my other best friend, who of course told me. Needless to say, that was the end of the relationship and friendship with her, although after 15 plus years, she and I did exchange emails through Facebook once or twice, just checking in on each other's lives. They ended up dating for a while, a year or two, and he ended up in jail. I was so naive back then. All right, so we're gonna read this one last story. Well, my ex told me he was sick, so he was going home to go to bed after work. I had a key to his house and needed my hair straightener. So I went to get it and texted him first so he would know I was coming to pick it up. I get there and as soon as I unlock the door and open it, he's running to the door, walks out and says he has a friend over. Hell no, <laughs> LOL. Turns out he had left his phone in the truck. That's why he didn't get her text message letting him know that she was coming. And he is now married to the girl he was cheating on me with. I'm so thankful that it happened though because a month later, I met the man I love, married, and am raising my babies with. Unanswered prayers are God's greatest gifts. I really hope it works out for her and her new relationship, her marriage with her current husband. I really do. And I hope you enjoyed that one. I really did. That was a really juicy uh, story time. Send me your cheater stories to my email, ebonygreathouse at gmail.com and check out cheater stories on YouTube. Okay, bye-bye.
Christmas.